Hello everyone and welcome back to the farm. It's another beautiful day here in Indiana. Today I'm going to be spraying herbicide on this field and the canola field is ready to harvest. Um, I think there's still time for me to plant either corn or soybeans in here but I'm actually going to leave it bare. Because I'm thinking at the end of the year, I'm going to spread lime on both fields. I think they could use it, but I'll make up that decision after, while I'm harvesting. Because, yeah, I'm not 100% sure still if I want to leave it bare or if I want to go ahead and plant it with something else. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, I think I'll spray this field first. Give that field more time to dry out. I think I'll have to run down to the store though and grab more herbicide though. So let, I'll go up there and check my tank and I will find out. Alright guys, I just checked my herbicide tank and I do need more. So I'm going to go ahead and head down to the store and pick that up before I get started. I'll tell you what, I think there is something wrong with my grass. I don't know if it has some disease that stunted its growth, but it just has not been growing very well all year. So I might uh, tear it up and plant more grass in there. I think I might let it sit over the winter though, like that and see how it is next year. See if it can recover or not from whatever disease it might have because I really don't want to have to tear that up and plant new grass in there, but I will if I have to. Let's see. Oh, I can beat that guy. Alright, they got that herbicide tank loaded up. I only bought one because it holds 2,000 liters, I believe. And the one up at the shop already has 500 liters in it still. So I should be good with just those two. Which, honestly, I probably didn't even need the trailer. Could have probably just stuck it in the bed and been fine, but oh well. Gives me an excuse to use the trailer. It never gets used. Anyway, I'll get this back to the farm and I'll meet you all back up there. Alright, back at the shop. Need to pull this herbicide tank out. Ah, uh, darn, I'll have to move the fertilizer tank. Oh well. There we go. Get my forks. So honestly, guys. I'm not sure. I wonder if I should just use this tank at first and see if it's enough or if I run out. Or should I just go ahead and fill the sprayer up to 100%? Not too sure. I keep forgetting I got those pellets sitting in there that need packed still. <laughs> I'll need to, uh, uh, I'm thinking I'll need to, I think I'll lease a, uh, I think I'll lease a, what do you call it, a skid steer, there we go, <laughs> when I do those for scooping up the pellets, I think this tractor, I could get a buck for this tractor, but I think it would be maybe too slow, I don't know, it might be cheaper just to do that route, I'm not sure, let me know what you think down in the comment guys, do you think I should lease a skid steer? put those pellets in the pelletizer or should I just go ahead and get a bucket for the tractor all right this is filled up now hmm I think I will go ahead and just spray with this and if I run out I'll run up here and fill up just because I don't really want to take the time to fill up from that tank if I don't have to oh ah I'll go ahead and do it. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed or not, but I'm not very <laughs> decisive in my decision making. <laughs> I'm already down here, so I'm not going to turn around. I'll go ahead and spray it as is. 
Not sure what right this will exit out of the sprayer. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't really have to spray at a high volume. So I honestly might have enough here to, uh, you know, get the whole field done. I don't know. So either way, I would have had to buy a new herbicide tank. So it's not like it was a waste of money going out and buying that, even if I don't have to use it now. guys I just finished the field and I actually had enough in that tank to do the whole field that's crazy I was almost certain I was gonna run out I was doing that last pass I was like man with my luck I'll run out right before I can finish it <laughs> but no I was surprised that yeah I got I had enough in there so I'll go ahead and uh, refill that tank I emptied this out of all right got that off Go ahead and unhook the sprayer. And I'll put those herbicide tanks away. Now, I do think I could probably get away with stacking those two herbicide tanks on top of each other and carrying it into the barn like that. Just because that one has like almost nothing in it anyway. So it shouldn't be too heavy. All right, putting this last uh, tank in there. Yeah, I decided not to stack them on top of each other because I think it would have hit the rafters if I did that. So now that I'm looking at it, I think I could have just cleared it, but uh, rather safe than sorry, eh? Anyway, let's see, I got that put away. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here I need to use the tractor for. So I'll go ahead and park it right here I'll go bring the case back in and I'll pull the grain truck out oh, I need to put that trailer back in too all right got the truck to put away time to fire up the grain truck have I mentioned before that I love this thing <laughs> I think I do every time I get in it Let's see. I think I'll just pull it up right up here, I think. I think this will be a good spot to stick it for now. There we go. Let's see here. I don't think there's anything else I need. Oh, wait. I need to put my trailer away.
Alright guys, just had myself a really good salami and cheese sandwich with some chips. Now it's time to get to work. Man, I don't think this thing has ran since last year, I think it was. Yeah, because I leased a combine to do the wheat harvest. See if she'll start up. Oh yeah. Fire right up. Perfect. I'm kind of spoiled though. This is going to feel like it's taking forever as I use that big old combine for the wheat harvest. But oh well, what can you do? Let's see here. We get hooked up. Alright, hooked up to that. I think that's everything. Yep. Sweet. I should be good to go. Alright guys, I just finished up with this field. I'm gonna empty my combine into the truck and I'll go ahead and park this until it's time to harvest the corn. 
I uh, might go ahead and spray it off too, just because I don't like it sitting for long without being clean. Let's see, I I was hoping I would get a full uh, truckload off that, but I guess not. I haven't really looked inside the bed of the truck, so I might be pretty close. Alright, look at that. She's looking brand new. Go ahead and fold this up. I'll go detach this header, part combine, and I'll go ahead and empty my canola in the uh, green bin. Alright, got the combine put away. Now it's time to go empty the canola. Didn't really pay attention to how much I got in here. Let's look. And not as much as I was hoping for, but I guess canola does make a lot of money though so I'll hopefully get a decent amount for it something I noticed walking over here though was a strip of canola right here that I missed it's driving me nuts looking at it <laughs> but oh well what can you do about it I'll go ahead and empty this in the grain bin see if I can flatten that stuff right there so I don't have to look at it Let's get this thing empty. I can't remember if I sold my wheat or not. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't think I did. I should have some wheat in here to sell also. And that best time to sell that is around uh, winter time too. I should make a decent penny around winter. Because I'll be selling my canola, my wheat, and my uh, pellets. That'll be pretty sweet. It's just spraying all the dirt off of here. I'll wait to give it a good wash till I'm done with it for the year. Alright. Looks like I got everything put away. Got every all the doors closed. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm still not sure though if I want to let this sit. I think I will because if I want to follow the proper rotation, the next thing I plant in here should be corn. But um, it's too late in the year now for me to plant corn. So I'm pretty sure I'll just let this sit. Um, that should be it for today's video. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I can't wait to see you all again. Bye.